In this video, I'm going to walk you through Andrew Huberman's top 10 protocols. These are the same protocols that he talks about on many of his podcasts, but seeing as many of the episodes are two or three hours long, I figured I'd save you the time and give you the top 10 in under 15 minutes. I've listened to over a hundred hours of his podcasts. I've also read over a dozen books from some of the guests that he's had on. And I use all of these exact protocols in my own life and in many of the programs that I put together for clients. To decide on the top 10, I came up with a two-part scoring system. Part one is accessibility, basically how easy or how simple it is. And part two is effectiveness, how well it works. I gave each part a one to five score for a total score of one through 10. And at the end of the video, I'm also gonna share a bonus protocol, which I believe is the number one most impactful protocol and it influences all the other protocols on the list. I've only heard him mention it a few times and it's not usually on his own podcast. It's usually when he's on somebody else's podcast or being interviewed. It's probably the number one protocol that has changed my own life. So stay tuned and keep your eyes and ears peeled. I'm curious if you'll be able to identify it as we go through and I'll reveal it at the end. All right, let's jump into it. Do you ever catch yourself feeling sluggish or unmotivated or just off? You're probably dehydrated. And most people think they drink enough water, but the truth is coffee, soda, and juice, those don't count. Your body is more than 60% water, and on a molecular level, it's about 99% water. That means every system, your brain, your muscles, your energy, all of it relies on being hydrated. So here's the protocol. Start your day with a tall glass of water before your coffee and add a pinch of sea salt to the water for electrolytes along with a splash of lemon juice for some vitamin C and antioxidants. Doing this is like giving your cells and your body a power up to start the day. And if you're not sure how much water you need throughout the day, aim for half your body weight in ounces. Hydration isn't just about thirst, it's about performance. Think of water as fuel for your body's engine. You need to stay hydrated to stay sharp. For accessibility, I'd rate this a four out of five. Most people have access to water, but getting clean water can be challenging for some. As for effectiveness, I rate this a five out of five because hydrating provides immediate benefits to energy and focus. So total score, nine out of 10. Do you ever catch yourself feeling overwhelmed or stuck in your own head? Here's a game changer, mindfulness meditation. It's not just about sitting still, it's a reset for your brain. The protocol is simple. Find a quiet spot, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing specifically lengthening your exhales. Thoughts are going to pop up, but don't fight them. Notice them, but try to gently bring your focus back to your breathing. And you can even use a mantra if you need one. Here's the best part. Just five minutes of this a day can reduce stress, improve focus, and even boost your creativity. And if you're not convinced, there's tons of science to back this up. Meditation actually rewires your brain to better handle stress. And they've done brain scans and looked at the brains of meditators versus non-meditators. And the meditators actually had brains that looked 20 years younger than the brains of the non-meditators. You don't need fancy apps or hours of practice, just a moment during the day to find clarity. Mindfulness meditation is your superpower hiding in plain sight. For accessibility, I rate this a five out of five. It requires no equipment, just a quiet space and a few minutes. And for effectiveness, I rate this a 4.5 out of five. The benefits increase with consistent practice. I've only been doing this for about five years, but if I go a single day without meditating, I can feel it. Total score, 9.5 out of 10. By the way, my name is Andrew and I'm the founder of Longevity Lifestyle. And my mission is to provide you with the knowledge and the tools to help you live a healthier, happier, and longer life. So if you want more of this type of content, please like and subscribe. Are you someone that struggles to fall asleep or stay asleep? The culprit is probably right in your hand your phone. Blue light from screens actually tricks your brain into thinking that it's still daytime. And this ends up blocking melatonin, the hormone that helps you fall and stay asleep. So here's the protocol. One hour before bed, power down all your screens. Switch to warm, dim lighting, or if you really wanna take it to the next level, you could get an orange or red light to replace for one of the lamps in your room. This color of light signals to your body to start winding down. And if you can't avoid screens, I highly recommend using some blue light blocking glasses or night mode. And as a bonus tip, having a wind down routine that involves activities that don't use screens can be really helpful for avoiding them. You'll fall asleep faster, you'll stay asleep longer, and you'll wake up more refreshed. Your bedroom should be a sanctuary for sleep. And in order to be that, you need to protect it from light pollution. For accessibility, I rate this a four out of five. It requires some lifestyle adjustments and it can be hard if you're super busy. But for effectiveness, this is a five out of five. Limiting screens absolutely enhances sleep quality and depth. Total score, nine out of 10. 
If you regularly feel brain fog or sluggish or unable to think straight throughout the day, your brain might be starving for omega-3s. These essential fatty acids are like brain fuel. And your brain is basically just water and fats, so they also serve as a critical building block. They support memory, focus, mood, and even your cardiovascular health. But here's the problem, your body can't produce them. You have to get them through food or supplements. The easiest protocol for this is to add a high quality omega-3 supplement to your daily routine. Look for one that's rich in EPA and DHA because those are the two powerhouse components. And if you're not a fan of pills, try eating more fatty fish like salmon or red meat or eggs or even walnuts. The science is absolutely clear. Omega-3s reduce inflammation, improve heart health, and boost cognition. Your brain and body are working hard every single day. Omega-3s are how you give them backup. Accessibility, three out of five. Fish is expensive, and so is purchasing supplements. But for effectiveness, this is a 4.5 out of five. The evidence to support this is abundantly clear, and I've noticed this in my own life. Total score, 7.5 out of 10. Do you find yourself feeling low energy or low motivation? Here's the ultimate hack, regular exercise. It's not just about weight loss or muscles. Exercise supercharges your energy, boosts your focus, and crushes stress. So here's the protocol. Start small, maybe 20 minutes a day. A walk, some squats, or even some jumping jacks in your living room will get the job done. And eventually you're gonna wanna try and get at least two sessions per weekend of more intense exercise, ideally that involves some form of weight. Here's why it matters. Physical activity increases blood flow, which delivers more oxygen and more nutrients everywhere in your body, including your brain. It's like flipping a switch on for peak performance mode. But consistency beats intensity. And I notice this with every single one of my clients. After about two weeks of consistent exercise, everybody finds they're way more motivated and fired up. You don't need a gym or fancy gear, you just need to get moving. And the payoff is well worth it. But the best part of all, once you start doing it, you'll start craving it and even enjoying it. Accessibility, 4.5 out of five. It does require a little bit of time. Some people like equipment, but otherwise it's just discipline. Effectiveness is a five out of five, could even be a six out of five. As Peter Atia says, exercise is the most potent longevity tool on the planet. Total score, 9.5 out of 10. And continuing on with that theme of wanting more energy, better focus, and a leaner body, intermittent fasting is your number one metabolic tool. But it's not a diet, it's an eating schedule. The protocol involves picking an eating window. So you might decide to eat only within an eight or a six hour window throughout the day and fast throughout the rest of the day. Fasting allows your body to burn stored fat for energy. It boosts cellular repair and it sharpens mental clarity. And the best part, you don't need to count calories or cut out entire food groups. Just skip breakfast or have an early dinner. It's that simple. And if you're not sure where to start, try 16-8. 16, 16 hours during the day you're fasted and eight hours during the day is your eating window. This is backed by tons of science. It supports weight loss, reduces inflammation, and may even extend your life. Just recently, I watched three separate clients of mine, Austin, Matt, and Eric, use intermittent fasting to lose over 25 pounds in three months, each of them. Hunger is temporary, but the benefits are long-term. Accessibility, five out of five. It requires discipline and a little planning, but it's free. And effectiveness, also five out of five. Intermittent fasting can give you a huge boost in energy, and over time, it promotes nearly perfect metabolic health. Total score, 10 out of 10. So what do you do if you're feeling regularly stressed or overwhelmed? You might just need to breathe, but not the shallow autopilot breathing like you might be doing right now. I'm talking about intentional breath work, a quick way to calm your body and your nervous system and focus your mind. Start with this simple protocol. Using 100% nasal breathing, inhale for four seconds, exhale for five seconds, and hold for six seconds. What's happening when you're doing that? You're activating your parasympathetic nervous system, the part of your brain and body that says, relax, we're safe. And just five minutes of doing this will reduce your stress, drop your heart rate, and improve your focus. And the best part, you can do this anywhere at your desk, in your car, before bed. It's free, it's powerful, and it's always with you. If you want to master your mind, you have to master your breath. Accessibility, five out of five. This can be done anywhere, anytime. And effectiveness, 4.5 out of five. This results in almost immediate calming effects. And the only reason it's not a five out of five is because it can be really hard to stay focused if you're already experiencing a panic attack or some anxiety. Total score, 9.5 out of 10. If you have a really hard time waking up in the morning or sometimes you just kind of feel sluggish or stuck, cold exposure might be the reset that you need. Ice baths, cold showers, or even a brisk walk outside when it's cold, those aren't just for thrill seekers. Cold exposure boosts your circulation, it reduces inflammation, and it fires up your metabolism. 
Just don't do it when you're sick. Here's a starter protocol. At the end of your regular shower, turn it to freezing cold for 30 seconds. And then over a period of days or even weeks, gradually increase the time until you can do two minutes under the cold. It's uncomfortable at first, but that's the entire point. The cold trains your body and your mind to better handle stress. Plus, science shows it can increase your mood and levels of motivation for multiple hours afterwards. I've been doing it basically daily for the last 18 months, and this may sound absolutely insane, but I feel incredible afterwards. Nothing in your day will seem quite as challenging when you start your day with some freezing cold. For accessibility, I rate this a 3.5 out of 5. It does require some mental preparation and access to cold water. But for effectiveness, I rate this a 5 out of 5. This is an unbelievably efficient way to elevate your mood and your energy for multiple hours. Total score, 8.5 out of 10. So what happens when you're feeling exhausted during the day but don't have time for a nap? This could be a game changer for you. NSDR, or non-sleep deep rest. This is one of Huberman's favorites, and it's like hitting a reset button for your brain, but there's no sleeping required. Here's the quick protocol. Find a quiet place, lie down, and close your eyes. Focus on your breathing while relaxing each part of your body, very similar to meditation. It's almost like a mix of mindfulness and guided rest. In just 10 to 20 minutes, your mind recharges, your stress melts away, and you sharpen your focus. And NSDR techniques like yoga nidra or guided hypnosis can even enhance memory and learning. But the best part about this, you can do this anytime, after lunch, before a big meeting, or when you're feeling overwhelmed and just have a few minutes. Think of it as a power nap for your mind without actually needing to sleep. And it's the ultimate tool to rest, recharge, and conquer the rest of your day. For accessibility, this is a four out of five. It's probably easiest to start with a guided session, but there are many of them available online. And for effectiveness, I also rate this a four out of five. It provides noticeable improvements to relaxation and focus, even if you only have five minutes to do it. Total score, eight out of 10. Do you want more energy and better sleep? Because the answer is not in some pill. It's morning sunlight. This is one of my favorite protocols and has recently become a non-negotiable for me. Here's why. Morning sunlight sets your circadian rhythm or your body's natural clock. This helps you fall asleep faster, but also wake up feeling more energized. If you're somebody that needs an alarm to wake up, it's because your circadian rhythm is probably off. So here's the protocol. Spend 10 to 15 minutes outside during the first hour of sunlight but no screens and no sunglasses. Your eyes need to catch that natural light. And even on cloudy days, the natural light outside is significantly more powerful than indoor lighting. And as a bonus, sunlight also boosts serotonin and dopamine. So you'll feel happier, more focused, and more motivated throughout the day. This one habit is very simple, it's also free, and it's incredibly effective. If you catch the morning sun, your body and mind will thank you all day. Accessibility, 4.5 out of five. It's free and it requires minimal effort, but it can be hard to do if you live in a city or your job requires you to be at work before the sun is up. For effectiveness, this is a five out of five. It provides immediate and long lasting benefits for energy and mood. Total score, 9.5 out of 10. Now here's the bonus protocol that Andrew Huberman doesn't talk about much explicitly, but I believe is the number one protocol. And it's because it's the genesis for all the other protocols we just went through and it's constant learning. Love for learning is a superpower. And when you learn something new, your brain literally rewires itself. But this doesn't mean you have to spend hours every day studying. Here's a simple protocol. Read three to five pages of a book every morning before you look at a screen. Then spend five minutes once a week, writing down some of the things you've learned and how you've applied them throughout the week. I like to do this Friday around lunch. Every little bit adds up. You're not just gaining knowledge, you're also building competence, confidence, and opening doors to new opportunities. And the craziest part, the more you learn, the better your brain gets at learning and remembering things. It also becomes more enjoyable. If you're navigating life without constantly reading and learning, you're basically traveling without a map, a GPS, or a destination. So whatever problems or challenges you're dealing with right now in your life, go grab two to three books on those topics read them, and thank me later. You already know I'm rating this one a 10 out of 10. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like content like this and want to see more of it, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.